everybody, this is your a News Kids. I'm going to be talking about the explosion of a nuclear power plant in Ukraine, the floods in Pakistan, Taiwan and China crisis, and the Croatia bus crash. The country of the week is New Zealand, and the extra fun segment is all about paint. In the Mandarin segment, you're going to be learning how to say some fruit names in Mandarin, and we are interviewing Mr. Khalid Nazru, a famous painter and artist in Mauritius. He's an amazing person and has done loads of paintings. This time we have a special interview with him in person and I really hope you enjoy. Zaporizhia, Europe's biggest nuclear power plant, was hit. Russian and Ukrainian forces have been blaming each other for this explosion. The head of the International Agency of Nuclear Energy said that the causes of this and the consequences are unknown, but he also said that the plant is out of control. The possible other consequences for this could be equal to that of an atomic bomb. Ukrainian and Western think that Russia is using the plant as a fortress now. But Russian and Ukrainians are now working together to help restore and rebuild the plant. Flash floods in Pakistan have caused unusual Heavy monsoon rains that have killed 550 people in the past month. Many others have also been injured and 46,000 houses have been destroyed. Relief and aid camps have been set up to help families move and to provide basic needs. The remote communities have been hit the hardest. In Pakistan this year, they received 130% more rain than the average in the past 30 years. And in Balochisi, another province in Pakistan, they received 300% more rain than the annual average. Taiwan said that it detected many Chinese naval and military bases and drills around Taiwan, possibly for a planned attack on the island. Taiwan said that these have been going on for a long time and even after Ms. Nancy Pelosi's visit to Asia. She came despite a furious opposition and even though she visited Beijing and China has not backed off Taiwan. The China Communist Party sees Taiwan as a territory and a part of China and has vowed to reunify the country with the island. Saturday 6 August, 12 people were killed in Croatia after a bus veered off and landed in a ditch. This bus had lots of Polish pilgrims and even those who survived were badly injured. Polish ministers and prosecutors have ordered the Warsaw police to come to Croatia to find an investigation and to find out the real cause of this terrible tragedy. Two Polish ministers are also arriving to Croatia in the wake of this incident. Hi everyone, this week on a News Kids, a Fear to Fear segment, we are interviewing Mr. Khalid Nazu, an amazing person who is an artist in Mauritius. He is very famous and he has done thousands of paintings. He has an amazing style and we are interviewing him in person this time, so it's really exciting. I really hope you enjoy and don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment below because we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers.
for joining us today. It's a real, You're welcome. It's a real honor to interview you. So we have a few questions to ask you on yes. what you do and your journey so far with inspiration because it's amazing as you can see all the artworks everywhere. So thank you so much for your time. Well, actually, I started very young. You see, this is what I uh, so happen sometimes. You can you are born with the with the motivation to to create. You know? So mm -hmm. I started very young. Uh, we the family we used in we used to live in Portuguese. Yes. In Portuguese, and uh, I used to tell my my, my brother. I wanted to become a painter. Mm -hmm. I was five years old. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now I am 68. Okay. So it's a long time. I have been working for a long time. Yeah. You see, what I do actually it has to do with the history of art. Mm -hmm. Because uh, at the age of uh, 20, yes. I uh, obtained a French scholarship and I went to study in France. Wow. But before going to France, oh, I already had uh, exhibited uh, around the age of 16, 17. Mm -hmm. I had uh, exhibited at the uh, Gallery Max Bollet, mm -hmm. was a very famous gallery here. Wow. And uh, this is how I, 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 I continued. Mm -hmm. Because I obtained that uh, French scholarship and I went to Paris to this Ecole des Beaux-Arts. I stayed and studied for eight years. Mm -hmm. And when I was in Paris, uh, Paris is the city for art. Yes. So uh, <clears throat> I uh, became more fluent in art history, mm -hmm. came yes. to know about the works of other painters, very famous painters, etc. Mm -hmm. And also had a better technique. Yes. Better technique, learned about other techniques also. This is how I started to do printmaking also. Yes. Uh, for example, what you see on the walls of yeah. prints. Mm -hmm. I love print. Uh, so, and much later I went to mm -hmm. Uh, when I was at the school after my uh, graduate in painting, I continued and studied typography mm -hmm. and other print uh, making techniques, etc. And later I went to Nantes, mm -hmm. where they, they do uh, a, spe a very special kind of typography. And later I went to America. I went to Tamarin Institute, which is, which is a very famous institute. Wow. Print making. Mm -hmm. So this is how I uh, I continued. I did my studies and painted and did print making at the same time. And yes. When, you know, I used to travel a lot. Mm -hmm. Wow, amazing. Uh, in, in Europe, go to other countries, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. I even went to uh, East Berlin. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. now. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I uh, went to see a museum there, I went to... So, and we, 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 uh, I have been traveling a lot. Yes. And uh, I have been doing also artworks that relate to the travels that I have done. Yes. Yeah. And uh, with my wife also, we like to, to, to travel. Yeah. But since the confinement, we have not moved. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Uh, we are planning to go to Oman. Oh, amazing. Wow. Oman, Oman because we went to, uh, some years back, we went to Morocco, mm -hmm. and then we went to Turkey. Yeah. Uh, so, we went to very oriental countries. And I, I went to India for the Kenari New Delhi. Mm -hmm. And then my wife who went to India, uh, went to the major cities, yes. and the major city, various uh, places, you mm -hmm. know, wow. and go to the museums also. Mm -hmm. So my work actually is very playful. Mm -hmm. Yes. My work is very playful. I stayed the way I was when I started mm -hmm. as a young painter. Yes. Very young. Yes. But it has become very yeah. Uh, so, uh, in French, we call that mm -hmm. 
playfulness. playfulness. And I still work by playing. Yeah. I play with colors, with fonts, etc. Mm -hmm. And even when I travel, even from time to time, I put hotels here in Russia and for a week or a weekend, then I treat according to the size. Wow. You see? Uh, the countries that I have been visited, uh, like France or USA or India, and you will see in the catalog that there are, you know, uh, pastel works that yes. I have done in relation to India. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is how I function. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yes. wow. your, your journey started from when you were very young yes. and you made it this far, that's great. Yes. Mm -hmm. And could you tell us a bit about how your style has evolved over the years? Well, you see, uh, when we start, uh, the way I did yeah. quite yeah. young, so I, I always looked up to macho yeah. painters, yeah. to very famous painters, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, artists. Women, American painters, etc. Yeah. And my work has become uh, very modern in yeah. a certain mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Very modern, even and now I can talk about postmodernism. Yeah. Well, well, postmodernism, you know, it's the, um, the influence of history okay. on whatever you do, wow. and especially art history. Mm -hmm. yes. the various, the, the, Movements that have happened, etc. But yeah. the movements that have always interested me are the movements from modernism yeah. from the 20th century. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Even uh, from, very, uh, from, from my first exhibition in Russia, it was very modern. Wow. It was very modern. You know, I never looked up to Mauritian painters. <laughs> they were very traditional. Right. Now there are younger painters from mm -hmm. studying abroad, etc. But at that time, we were, we were very you know, figurative painters. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I have done figuration also. Yeah. But uh, your style, you can see, is very, very modern. Yeah. yeah. But my style is very modern. Yeah. It is something that has to do with yeah. figuration and abstraction <laughs> between the two. Yeah. You see, this is how I work. And lately, I still refer, for example, if you can do, it yes. has to do with. Mauritius and Mauritius yes, yes, yes. landscape, mm -hmm. but it is something else. Yes, for sure. And it is a mix between uh, modernism and I was interested to work with Tondo. Yes. Uh, the drawn shape, yeah. which comes from the 16th century, from oh, Italy. Wow. Yes. Wow. It is Tondo, it's an Italian work in a way, so it has to be the circular. Yeah. Painting and circular <laughs> pieces of the And uh, yeah. you see, it has inspiration in mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. But whatever I do now, yes. this one has been mm -hmm. This one has been designed. It's very much. Yeah, for sure. It has something to do with, you know, I don't know whether you know that painter uh, from Cuba uh, who used to do. Um, Yeah. No problem. No problem. <laughs> wow. But anyway, we can see very modern. We feel it now. It has come back. <laughs> it has come back. Who used to, who was an islander too, mm -hmm. and who was also a mix. Uh, so. Uh, I think that his mother was uh, African, African yes. from, from Cuba, from African origin, mm -hmm. and his father was Chinese. Oh, wow. Chinese. But you see, when you go to America, I don't know, you have been to New York, mm -hmm. when you go to MoMA, Museum of Modern Art, mm -hmm. and the first artwork, mm -hmm. uh, which will you confront yourself, is a big gouache from by uh, Louis Fredola. Which is entitled, uh, and from there you can go and 
consult catalogs and you know, yeah. books, etc. And you will learn. Yeah, yes. You take yeah. you take one day, you take one week or one year. <laughs> <laughs> and when you have understood, you come back and you tell me. Wow. Even in your painting. Why? Because you see, I come from an island. Mm. And Mauritius, you know, is a place where you will find people of various origins yes. from Africa, yes. from, Africa yes. from China, yes. from Europe, etc. Yes. We have that mix yes. of various cultures, etc. And uh, my actually, my painting is like a Metis. Metis. Yes. Metis. And yes. Metis. And modernity actually, even Picasso when he started to do his cubist, mm -hmm. he looked towards Africa. He looked towards you know African masks. Yes. yes. And this is how I uh, I worked also. I continue to work also. But now I don't think about history. <laughs> I've been painting for so long, and it becomes a kind of second nature. To well, you know, when I was younger, I used to talk about the Federal Law and Picasso and all those people, etc. But so for so many years now, I, You've created I just do my own style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my own style, sure. how it evolved. Yes. And I don't, uh, I just leave it for other people to see the various, you know, sources. Yes, this for sure. Is how I, uh, I work yeah. on it. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And what do you like the most about what you do? Color. Color. Uh, I am a color painter. Yes, you can see it. I, very I, colorful. I am a color painter. Yes. Uh, and uh, I have, you know, prints which have been done in black and white. Mm -hmm. But uh, generally, I prefer to use color okay. to work on. on and color, that problematic of color. Mm -hmm. and this is what I wow, that's mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And, and finally, what is your advice to kids? You know, I think the way kids <laughs> kids are very free. Yeah, yeah. Kids, you know, have that uh, that freedom that adults don't have. Mm -hmm. Look, Picasso used to say. Uh, when you are a child, mm -hmm. you paint and you have that freedom. It is more difficult to become an adult and keep that freedom. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is what he, he used to say. And uh, maybe I have, I'm still a child at my age. I'm free enough. <laughs> <laughs> and when I was a child and in Port Chris at the age of five, I started to, to paint and, and draw, etc. I think I'm free enough. Wow. It's a bit like Malcolm de Chazal, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with his gouache, etc. Starting to paint at the age of 60. Yeah. And, you know, of a long career, you know, he was a, an engineer, it's a chance yeah. something to write. Mm -hmm. But then he didn't have a formal uh, training. Yes. But he started to paint like children. Mm -hmm. you know, free in a very free way. And if you like to, to paint, yeah, stay the way to you know, you yeah. know, and if you want to become a painter when you grow up, mm -hmm. still try to stay the child. Wow. <laughs> this is what I would say. Thank you. Wow, well, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Amazing, really yeah. amazing journey. Yeah.
est un pays d'Océanie. Sa capitale est Wellington et sa population est de 4,8 millions d'habitants. 30% du pays est une réserve nationale. Il y a plus de moutons que d'habitants là-bas. Il y a environ 5 moutons pour chaque personne là-bas. Elle est connue pour ses parcs nationaux, son ski et son surf. Il y a trois types de kiwis là-bas, le fruit, l'oiseau et le peuple. Hi everybody, this week for the extra fun segment, I'm going to be telling you some fun facts about paint. I really hope you enjoy. Paint has been used for 30,000 years. The earliest known oil paintings date back to the 14th century. Different colors and paint types vary from 12 hours of drying time to 2 weeks of drying time. It takes 570 gallons of paint to repaint the White House. Spray paint was invented in 1949. Paint used to be made with egg yolk, which helped harden it. Sir Isaac Newton invented the color wheel. Among the Aztecs, red pigment paint was actually more valuable than gold. I really hope you enjoyed these fun facts about paint and learned something new. Okay, this week for the Mandarin segment, you're going to be learning some fruit in Mandarin. I really hope you enjoy. To say apple, it's very easy. Ping guo. Ping guo. Pear is the easiest. Li. Li. Orange is Changzi. Changzi. Banana is Xiangjiao. Xiangjiao. Mango sounds exactly like mango in English. Mango. Mango. Lemon is Ningmang. Ningmang. And pineapple is Boluo. Boluo. I really hope you enjoyed this food in Mandarin and I hope you practice. 再见。